American author Walter Dean Myers is best known as a writer of children's books, specifically young adult literature. As a celebrated and influential figure, he won various awards and recognitions, from being a five-time Coretta Scott King Award winner for African American authors to being a two-time Newbery honoree recognized for his outstanding contribution to American literature for children. And with his groundbreaking novel, Monster, Walter Dean Myers was the first ever winner of the Michael L. Prince Award for Young Adult Literature. On March 15, 2014, Walter Dean Myers wrote his final piece, an essay entitled, Where Are the People of Color in Children's Books? Which along with his son, Christopher Myers' essay, The Apartheid of Children's Literature, helped launch the We Need Diverse Books movement. Upon his death on July 1, 2014, the world lost one of the greatest voices of children's literature and one of our strongest advocates. Walter Dean Myers discovered his love for literature and poetry at an early age. He molded himself into a writer, teacher, artist, and advocate for children everywhere dedicating his life to helping them discover the power of reading. It is in this spirit that We Need Diverse Books has made its selections for this year's Walter Dean Myers Award, the Walter, for Outstanding Children's Literature Young Adult Category. A panel of judges reviewed titles published during the 2016 calendar year by diverse authors whose work featured a diverse main character or address diversity in a meaningful way. Covering multiple genres, the books reviewed included both fiction and nonfiction. The award's mission is to honor the memory of Walter Dean Myers and his literary legacy, as well as celebrate diversity in teen literature. The winner of the second annual Walter Award for 2017 is the young adult novel March Book Three by Congressman John Lewis, Andrew Iden, and Nate Powell. Our judges panel has also selected three Walter Honor books. Watched by Marina Budos, If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. It is an honor from all of us to have been chosen as a recipient of the Walter Dean Myers Award. Thank you for doing everything possible to bring in books about people of color. If you had told me two and a half years ago when I was still taking dishwashing gigs as they came, I would be speaking on the same stage as Representative John Lewis and meeting him um, and everything else that's happened, I would have thought either you or I were going insane. To me, what diversity in children's books and young adult means has to do with a widening of empathy. Books that depict diverse experiences, diverse young people, what they're doing at a time like this where we're so polarized and we're so hunkered down and we have narrowed the scope of human expression and understanding. What these books do is they open that back up again because we have to use our stories, the stories of our history, the stories of our culture, the stories of our society, to show young people what it's like in other parts of our world so that they can build empathy towards their fellow human being, so they can understand another person and not feel limited by their own experiences. It's more important than ever that we manifest narratives which are reflective of the world around us. Diversity is a very <laughs> basic application of allowing people to see the world as it is in all of its richness. My inability to imagine a life better than the one I was leading um, and opportunities better than the ones I was receiving was because for my entire life I'd never seen any of those things being applied to people like me. I'm thrilled to be joining others and to hopefully be following in the footsteps of someone as accomplished and esteemed as the late Walter Dean. Here's to all of us in, in love, in resistance, in moving forward together. The future's unwritten. Our job as writers is to tell the truth. The truth is we live in a big, beautiful, and diverse world. The truth is the world is beautiful because of its diversity. 
We will not survive if we do not understand this. We will not survive if we do not see each other and love each other. What do we do now, we ask? To everyone, but especially to all the beautiful writers in this room, I say write. Write like all our lives depend on it, because they do. We all live in the same house. It doesn't matter whether we are black or white, Latino, Asian American, or Native American. But we must learn to understand all of us, for we need to know more about each one of us. And with books, we can learn so much, our children and their children, to create the beloved community.